What's up guys, my name is Cody, I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel, and in today's video I want to share with you a quick tip that will take your West Coast offensive scheme to the next level. We've been talking a lot about the fire tight formation, and I talked a lot about the fullback dive. Now, uh, those of you that know, uh, that know what I talked about in that video know that I think the fullback dive is the best game, best, best um, play in the game, but this is just a little adjustment that you can do to make it better. So we have curls as our audible. And then what I typically do is I'll actually throw a fullback dive just in the audible just so I have it, just in case I ever need it. And then the I-form slot. So there's not an outside run to the right in this. And so the I-form slot really has a couple good plays. So they have the HB dive. They have the stretch. And then what you can also do is you can add some passing in as well. And we'll go over a complete mini scheme from this as well uh, in a later video. But I put sail shake and PA cross F wheel in there. You can also uh, use the strong slot, and you can get a stretch out of there. They have a dive, um, and they also have uh, a couple other good plays that I'll be talking about as we kind of expand on this West Coast mini scheme. But what I want you to know is this. So if you put that stretch in your audible, you come out of fullback dive, your running back, this is why for the Niners I put Brita there. So I have Mostert here, and then I have Brita there. What's going to happen is... If they, it's if you audible to the right, just a, I think it's how many clicks? Let's, let's calculate. One, two, three. So three clicks to the right. Ah, shoot, I messed it up. Let me reset and show you. But it's a really quick transition is what I'm trying to get at. So when I when I do this, it's a it's kind of in a quick hike scenario. But basically, I read it from the far tight the far tight. Then I audible right into the stretch. And you'll see what happens here is if there's no one over that wide receiver, I can hit him on a bubble for a quick 4-5 or five, whatever. Now that bubble typically does a little bit better than 4-5 or five for me. That's typically almost you know a, a 10 to 15-yard route. Now if there's somebody over him, though, you can just run the standard stretch. And as you can see, the stretch is really effective. It's even better when they're selling out to stop the fullback dive. And so I have some gameplay that will show you um, I'm going to show some gameplay this weekend, or not this weekend, but this week for you. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that. But that's how, and, and basically how I use how I use those this play in conjunction with the fullback dive. And you really want to, I kind of pick and choose my spot with this. But basically, if you get a good block on that left side, you're going to be one on one with a safety, and you're going to be you're going to be gone. What happens is. When you're running, when you're running this fullback dive, you're running outside a lot of times, or in, you're running either inside right at the middle, or you're going to run outside left. Okay, and so you can check out my fullback dive video to see what I'm talking about. But you see, it's just a big, it's a big hitting run play to the left side. As you can see, I get six there. Well, what's going to happen is they're going to start selling out. They're going to take their user from the right side of the field, and they're going to jump him left at the snap of the ball. And so it's just a quick audible, quick adjustment, but it's a completely different defense that they have to play to stop the stretch than it is that they have to stop the fullback dive. And so um, this is just a really good option uh, for those of you. And again, if they sell out to stop the stretch, then you can easily hit them with just a standard uh, HB dive with a lead blocker, and that's very effective as well. But what I would encourage you to do is add this running scheme to your repertoire the only thing that I don't like is you can't run stretch left. You can't play maker left because it's a because it's a, uh, a run pass option play. But the bubble screen basically does that for you because if they blitz off that left side or if they're basically not disciplined off that left side, you can easily run that. And then you also have the stretch on the right. So kind of three different runs in one play. Wanted to get this out to you let you know that this is how you can really take the what we're learning from the fullback dive and what we're learning from the stretch and create a really good under center running scheme and when you throw things like the curl play and you throw things like a bubble screen into it you start to really have plays that work really well together so hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully it helped you and if it did I'd want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel because we have a ton of Madden content that we are putting out right now that is designed 
to try to help you get better and just try to help you have um, some different plays at your disposal. So hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to share this with a friend that you play Madden with and hopefully it